Hey you, welcome back. I'm Nat from Nat's Numbers. I'm also known as the Numerology Chick over on Instagram. And because we are getting so close to November 11th, I thought, what better time than now? I'm gonna answer the most common question that I get, and that is, what is the reason that we see 1111? So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the spiritual meaning behind seeing repeating ones on the clock, on license plates, on receipts. I'm gonna be making the distinction between seeing 11, for instance, and 1111. How are those two messages different? And I'm also gonna be diving into a fascinating topic, which is why are we collectively, as a society, as a culture, seeing this series of repeating numbers now more than ever before? So if you find these Friday morning uploads helpful and inspiring and you want to support this work, make sure to click that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you have sort of hippy dippy trippy philosopher friends that are interested in repeating numbers or numerology, I would be so grateful if you share the video. Okay, let's dive in. So first of all, just a little reminder, if you're seeing any repeating number, it is a sign of something incredibly profound. It is a sign of a spiritual awakening. You're waking up from the matrix. You're waking up from that false belief that this is just this muggle world, right? <laughs> seeing repeating numbers truly is a sign that there is a bigger and greater energy that is responding to us. And I did a whole video on this, so make sure to click the description box and there's a link in there, the meaning of seeing repeating numbers. Check out that video for more, especially if you're one of those people that you're seeing not only 1111, but like 222 and 333, okay? That'll be a very, very important video for you. Okay, the other thing I wanna cover really, really quick is that unfortunately, if you look up the descriptions of repeating numbers on Google, and you maybe see these like lists on the different meanings of angel numbers, what's really unfortunate is that a lot of the descriptions that are out there aren't actually based on what the number has represented throughout history. It's not based on what the number represents in ancient mathematics and sacred geometry or how that number behaves as a pattern in nature, okay? So the content in this video is pulled from my research in those areas. And although channelings and people's intuitive hits and insights can be so uplifting and inspiring, I wanna give you guys the purest form and interpretation of the number as possible, okay? So let's dive in. If you are seeing repeating ones of any kind, it is called an echo repeating number. An echo repeating number is when you see the same number repeating in a sequence, like 11 or 1111. There's another kind of repeating number called a combination repeating number. So this might be where you see 1212, where you see 1234 over and over again throughout the day. But echo repeating numbers are really cool because they're, they're basically like a big red flashing sign from the universe that's saying you need this one particular number, this one particular energy is what you need to access empowerment, confidence, and wholeness in your life. Okay, so if you're seeing repeating ones of any kind, the, the deeper fundamental meaning is the same. It's saying you gotta come back, you gotta come back to honoring that precious individual self of yours. Now you might be asking, where in the world did I get that interpretation from? Let me explain. Ancient mathematicians were absolutely enamored with the number one because the number one was the first individual thing that came out of the ether, okay? The number one is the first number that comes from the zero, the void or the source of existence. And so it was really a representation of the first original thing of individuality, right? But then when ancient geometrists tried to create a shape that represented the number one, it got even more magical, okay? So what ancient geometrists would do, sacred geometrists, is they would try to find a shape that represented that number. They would try to find a shape in nature that represented this fundamental mathematical principle. And so for the number one, they would take a piece of paper and they would say to themselves, what is the shape that represents this number? For the number one, it was a point. It was a circle, a point that goes out in all directions. And you might say, well, you could draw any shape and it would be one single shape. You could draw a triangle or a line or 
a square, it would be a one square or one triangle. But a triangle is three points put together. A line is two points drawn together. A square is four points drawn together, right? Those represent different numbers. The point was the purest representation of this mathematical concept. And then they started to really trip out, right? Because they realized that the circle, when you look out in nature, is such a fundamental uh, force in our reality. Life cannot exist without a circle. Life cannot exist without an individual entity, without a container. And so you look out, for instance, into nature, and you see that atoms, the fundamental building blocks of our physical reality, are, are orbs, right? You look out into the cosmos and you see that the planets and the stars are spheres, circles. You look into the, to the trillions of citizen cells in our body, they're all circles. And so basically, what they realize is the number one is a representation of individuality, of the sacredness of this incredible gift of your individual experience. So when you see repeating ones, it is a, a reminder to come back to yourself, to your individual existence, to your individuality, to the gift that you were given of your yourself, your life, who you are, right? So it's, it's a call to honor your uniqueness, to hold yourself in a high regard and to ask yourself, am I listening? to my own thoughts, my own feelings, my own beliefs? Am I making myself, my individual self, matter? You know, you weren't given this gift of your life, of this fleshy envelope of you to put it to waste, <laughs> right? You were given this gift to create a beautiful life and one that you inhabit, that you own, and that you honor. So I'll tell my clients, listen, you need to ask yourself, when I see these repeating ones, what do I need? What do I need to do, to think, to say, to honor my very existence? I'll give you a couple examples. Let's say you're in the car, okay? You're in the car with a friend and, and she says, uh, hey, what do you want for lunch? And you say to yourself, oh, whatever you want. And you look at the clock and it's 1.11 and you go, oh, I remember what Nat said. Seeing repeating ones is about coming back to myself, coming back to my needs, my thoughts, my preferences, my beliefs. What do I need to do or to say to honor my own existence here? You turn back towards your friend and you say, actually, I'm craving a big steak or actually, I really want a big, beautiful kale salad. Now you might say to me, Natalie, really? That is the deeper spiritual reason that I'm seeing ones is to ask for a steak or ask for the meal that I want. But it's like, if you think about it, you make hundreds, if not thousands of decisions a day that are either honoring this incredible gift that your creator gave you of you or that is diminishing who you are. Another example is that you're on the couch at home in the evening. And you're starting to doubt yourself. You're starting to doubt your dream. Maybe going for that new job or going for the promotion or deciding to pursue a better, healthier relationship. Maybe you start to think about that thing your boss said that you're not gonna make it on your own or the thing that your parent or teacher said about how that dream is absolutely impossible and then you see the clock, it's 11.11 and you're reminded, wait a minute, am I listening to my thoughts, to my beliefs? Am I listening to my intuition? Am I honoring my own existence here? This is why we see 11 or 11, 11. And I want, I want to remind you that it's not just about the inspirational message. Sometimes these repeating numbers show up because we need to quit doing something. Sometimes these repeating numbers show up. For instance, in the case of repeating ones, they show up to say, quit diminishing yourself. Quit conforming. Quit making yourself unimportant. You are a child of the universe. You were given this gift of your individuality, of your life for a reason. Own it. <laughs> so why are we collectively seeing this? And this is a really fascinating subject. Carl Jung um, was so amazing in his work on symbology because he would say that countries would get sort of, um, you know, enchanted by a symbol. Symbols can hold a power over, over masses of people. 
so why the 11? Why the 1111 right now? And I think that one of the reasons is because we live now in a culture where we are pulled outside of ourselves constantly. Instagram, Facebook, social media, right? You know, TV and movies. We've developed a day-to-day -day life and an existence where we don't feel ourself anymore. You know, social media is like spending your night looking in the window of people, people's lives. It's like super creepy and weird. <laughs> but what it does is that it's constantly diminishing ourselves. And very few of us actually know what it feels like to be who we are. Very few of us are in touch with our own preferences and our own beliefs. And we have a difficult time distinguishing who we are from, from others. Very few of us are taught now in this day and age to listen to the stirrings of our own heart and our own soul and then to honor them. So the reason that we're collectively seeing 11 and 11, 11 is because there is a great deficiency in our own self-awareness. There's a great deficiency in honoring the uniqueness of who we are and honoring our own path. All right, so now let's get into the last part of this video, which is what is the difference between seeing 11 or 11, 11? So what you wanna do with the number that you're seeing is you wanna add it down to its single digit, okay? So that you will understand if you heed this message of honoring your own uniqueness and asking yourself what you need to do to honor your individuality, the result that will occur. What is the miracle that will come from doing so? So if you're seeing 11, one plus one equals two. It's saying that right now in your life, if you were to develop a practice of honoring yourself, you will experience peace. Two is the number of peace, and in particular, peace in relationship. You will feel more harmonious as you interact with people. You will be able to receive more compliments, more accolades, more intimacy. What about 1111? This is really fascinating because this is collectively what we're seeing the most. 1111 adds down to four. The result of us collectively honoring our own unique paths and honoring our own unique beliefs and thoughts and preferences and our own inspirations and gut instincts and intuitions is the four, which is stability, solidarity, strength. It's where we will have a solid foundation for our future, which isn't a surprise because we are experiencing more instability now more than ever, a lot of uncertainty. And so that four energy is saying, let's build this foundation where we are each a whole, healthy, functioning individual and a part of a thriving community. So obviously these are general descriptions. And if you've got a one in your core chart or an 11 in your core chart, if you're going through a timing cycle in numerology where the one or the 11 is there, it can have actually added meaning. So there's always a link in the description box to a free report from numerologist.com where you can kind of look at your core numbers. And there's always a link to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with me if you really want to invest in deep transformational work here. So please comment below and let me know did this resonate? What do you think about the 11 or 1111 message? And if you have other videos that you want to see in the future, please let me know. I cannot wait to hear from you guys. Okay, bye.